Look, right, guys, this is Dead Parrot. I'm here with Christine Levine. You just said spank. How was it? It was fantastic. Like, I, I had kind of a what I would call a shit show at the assembly rooms. I don't know why old people want to come to a show called Fat War, but... <laughs> They just feel compelled. I think that, like, I feel like I'm a chimpanzee and they're Jane Goodall. You know what I mean? Like, they're just coming to watch the spectacle. But here, it was like, I felt like I was at home and so comfortable and, like, they got it. And even some people were still afraid. I mean, this is fake where people get naked. I just got naked here last week. naked here at, at the show and um and so i thought oh they'll get it you know and then um it just uh, there were some parts where i felt like i well i scared them but then i think i got them back i feel like i did i'm from the united states and i'm from portland oregon i hear there's some americans here yeah good job good i'm from portland oregon i got um three big fat kids three big fat fucking moon-faced house plants to hold down my couch back home Oh, I love having fat kids. In the U.S., they don't want you to have fat kids. You know, they're trying to, like, kill, like, you know, childhood obesity or whatever. It's Michelle Obama's little pet projects. It's none of her goddamn business. I love having fat kids because, I mean, they don't go anywhere, right? <laughs> they don't do anything. Like, I, I, ha I have friends with the skinny, busy kids that are always doing shit all the time, and I call them up, and I'm like, Hey, what are you doing? Want to come over? And my friends go, Oh, God, sorry, Christine, I can't. But I've got to take Hunter and Aiden to soccer practice and karate and buttoning class and little aviators club and calligraphy, whatever the fuck they do with their fucking kids. And I'm like, really? That is amazing because these women have figured out a way to spend time with their, or not spend time with their kids, but pay people to spend time with their kids so they didn't fucking have to. Genius. Because you know what I have to do with my kids? I actually like do spend time with them. I end up like, um, I'll, I'll like take like half a Valium, you know? And then, um, and then I, yeah, and then I, I drink some wine. And then uh, me and the fat kids sit around the TV and we watch a show called Intervention. <laughs> yeah. And then we make fun of those people on there. Like my son Christopher goes, Mom, look at this crazy lady. She's digging through the garbage to get to vodka like she's a hobo. I'm like, right, Christopher? Why didn't she just have one of her fucking kids refill her glass? <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Get on that shit, lazy. Go! Well, uh, you, you said uh, like just then that uh, your show's called Fat Whore. So what, what inspired that? Um, really was just that we need something kind of short, concise that sort of summed me up. We were going to call it Butter Pussy. <laughs> as well, but too many letters. <laughs> Where does butter pussy come from? Well, we need to fuck me to find out, James. <laughs> that, uh, you might be able to see that video uh, of Dead Parrot. Keep your eyes peeled. Subscribe. And you never know in a month or so time, James Loveridge and uh, Christine Levine, Butter Pussy, the movie, <laughs> might be a video. <laughs> what are you doing? Let's go. <laughs> Come on, baby. I love having the fat kids. I love it so much. I had a child molester move in across the street from me. I was the only parent on my block that didn't even have to give a shit about that. I don't care. My kids don't go outside. How the fuck are you? Wait, wait. He's a child molester, not a bodybuilder. How is he even gonna have a strength like, to come across the street, like, and lift a window and drag one of my little dough balls back <laughs> to his pervert lair? I don't give a fuck. Let him try. Right? You get it. And even, and even if he could get one of my fat kids to, like, suck his dick or something, let's say it even got that far. Like, does he think one of my fat kids is gonna suck his dick, really? They don't even eat broccoli. It's not... <laughs> Fucking good luck, dude, no. The worst thing about having child molest to live across the street early was that uh, my kids could tell that I didn't give a shit. The whole neighborhood's freaking out except me, I don't care. You know, and my daughter, Sabrina, when she was a little girl, I remember her asking me, she looked over at me and she goes, Mommy, aren't you afraid the bad man's gonna get us? And I was just like, no, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
It is a hard conversation to have with even one of your girlfriends, but try looking at a chubby eight-year-old and going, honey, he's just not that into you. <laughs> oh, babe. Now that dude's not gonna fuck you. I don't know what you think's gonna happen, but no. You're not his type, sweetie. No. So uh, you talked about home. Uh, where is home for you? Portland, Oregon. It's beautiful. It's a lot like Edinburgh, actually. It's very rainy and wet and dark, but very <laughs> green. Very green and friendly. But I'm on, I'm on a show called Portlandia. You're on Portlandia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Like a lot. <laughs> There's a thumb. <laughs> But yeah, I want to show uh, called Portlandia season one and season two. You can bet. stop it. <laughs> Our camera lady is very enthusiastic about this program. But Portlandia is amazing. Great, you should check that. It out. is a good show. It is a good show, and I'm proud to be on it. I'm super happy with it. Um, it does. It, Portland is sort of like a utopia for artists and stuff. It's they say in the show that's where young people go to retire. It's where everybody goes to retire because nobody has a full time job. We're all like artists and fuck offs and just porn clerks like me. Like we just. My, my sister time. started making jewelry. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you understand. <laughs> Who's not having kids ever? You guys know no to kids? Fucking bless your hearts. I'm so proud of you. But like, I didn't. I never chose to have kids or not. I just um, tripped and some dick fell into me and I got knocked up. So, like I remember when the kids were little and they'd ask me how they got here, you know, and I'd just point to a bottle of wine and go, you know what I mean? Like, mommy drinks. I don't fucking know. I'm not a scientist. I can't work shit out. <laughs> don't ask me shit. So, so I, I just, I just had children. I never picked anything. You know, the kids just had me. I guess. But you people that are child free, like you that are choosing not to have children, I appreciate your choice. But you know what? Don't fucking explain to a breeder like me why you don't want kids. I know why you don't want kids more than you know why you don't want kids. <laughs> I got this. You don't want kids because you like sleeping. <laughs> right? Okay? It's because uh, you had a hope and or dream that you wanted to attain someday. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me get this. Oh, what am I, a fucking psychic? Yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe it's because uh, you don't want your pussy looking like you swallowed a dog and it chewed its way out. <laughs> right? I'm, I'm fucking right. I've seen my pussy. <laughs> so, um, uh, you, you quite a, uh, a full-on and somewhat, uh, some might consider you controversial comic. What's yes. been the most interesting or exciting heckle thrown your way? Um, uh, ever? Yeah, ever. Ever, ever, I got um, uh, uh, just a whole 1,500 people shouting, show us your tits and terrestrial radio sucks. I was doing a show with Howard Stern's crew and they just like started pelting me with the show us your tits and terrestrial radio sucks. And I can't even, so this happens like five years ago. And I still can't think of a proper response to it. I still, I still puzzle over it. Like what could I have said? So what I did is I just picked up a guy, like there was a guy in the front row and I just grabbed his beer, I downed it, I threw the glass in his face and walked off the stage. I was just like, I'm done. What can I, I'm not gonna show my tits. I show tits that they don't ask. Let me see, so I've got one, two, three kids. I would have had more if it weren't for that pesky abortion I had. <laughs> always a room killer, I don't know why. You guys always like, I can hear the butt cheeks going, <laughs> whatever. Okay, look, I didn't have one of those cute abortions that you girls can have now. The adorable ones where you can take the pill and then tweet about it, LOL. It wasn't ha gas, hashtag toilet. No. <laughs> I had a big girl abortion. Can you believe I'm at the assembly rooms? Why? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I had a big girl abortion. So I'm in line at the grocery store talking about it with this lady in front of me. I'm chatty. I just talk a lot. I just talk too much. I say too much shit. I don't know why. She's in front of me and I just mentioned that I had an abortion. You know what I mean? Like, you ever do that? You like, you like, maybe you, you, you just like, you're getting along with somebody new and then, or like at a party or somewhere in line or something. And then all of a sudden you're like, yeah, I jerked off a dog when I was 13. It was weird. <laughs> like, you just say something crazy like that. That's what I did. I just blurted out that I had an abortion. And she turns on me and she goes, what? You killed your baby. And I was like, I 
guess. Fuck yeah, I killed my baby. You know what? If my kids knew that, they'd clean their rooms faster. <laughs> <laughs> I went home and let it leak out like a prison rumor. Like, it is now asses and elbows at my house with my kids like huddled in a corner going, oh my God, there used to be four of us. The warden is crazy. <laughs> I am crazy. And Guys, I it, it, if, you, if you think you've got the best heckle comeback for that, feel free to comment in the video below. Uh, we'd love to see it. Um, I'll forward it on to Christine. Oh my God. It would just, it would be a relief to me. It's like a nightmare. What, what should I have said? I had nothing. I still have nothing. I can't think of anything. Yeah, I mean, trust the radio is okay. I mean, I suppose. I wouldn't say it sucks. Well, yeah. What's wrong with it? I and why do know. people hate on terrestrial radio? I don't that's know! A, that's such a... It was Howard Stern's, like, it was their crew, you know, and their, like, it was Bob Levy and Jim Florentine, like, guys that were on the show. And um, and then, so I was doing a show with them, and then uh, they just didn't like me, I guess. or Not that they didn't like me, they just started with the terrestrial radio, and then show us your tits, and I was like, no. I'll, I'll be honest, most terrestrial radio hate ends in, uh, in people wanting to see tits. Yeah, I, well, especially with that crew. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, and I should have, maybe I should have just given one. It, it's wanted. not that widely reported, but the thing that stopped the London riots was a, a woman got her tits out, and they were like, all right, <laughs> fine. Stop, stop. <laughs> I've got all the trainers I need. I've seen tits. Let's call it a day. <laughs> well, I need to get to London then. <laughs> Gotta go. <laughs> I sucked off a guy at work once. Did that. How many people can say they do that at work? Nobody? Anybody? You Tabitha! Fucking yeah, bitch! Now I love... And you can't get naked? Are you shitting me? Oh my god, I did! I sucked off a guy at work. But I didn't work where you work. I worked in a sex shop for 13 years. You know what I mean? So it's not like I worked at McDonald's or Barclays or... You know what I mean? I didn't work at French Connection. I worked at a sex shop, so it's okay. That's where I'm supposed to do it. And I, uh... I said... Hi, guys. So I sucked off a, hey, you're gonna wanna listen to this stupid. Come on. <laughs> so I'm at work and I sucked off a guy and I gave him the best head of his entire life ever. Who, me, you know why? Because if it's in my mouth, I'm gonna fucking eat it, dummy. Look at me. You're pretty, but you're fucking stupid. Anytime, anytime a blowjob comes up, you should look at the bitch talking. Always. So I sucked up a guy at work. Okay, Einstein, pay attention. Pay attention. I sucked him off and I gave him the best. Like, I'm on the clock. He didn't have to pay me. I did it for free. My business paid me. The porn store paid me. So I worked at a sex shop. I just sucked off one of my customers. Oops, I get bored. Anyway, and he told me I gave him the best head of his entire life ever. And he asked me how I learned how to do that. And he, I told him, I said, well, you know, I have a lot of gay friends, and you're going to want to know this, sourpuss. Okay, fancy pants. Okay. I have a lot of gay friends, and they give me a lot of really good advice. And, um, and, and he was like, what? Like, he doesn't want to hear that I can suck cock like a faggot? Like, <laughs> he got offended by it? And I'm like, all right, fine. You want me to suck your dick like a lady? Here I'll lick your tit three times, <laughs> like that. And then, like, I read women's magazines, so I think you, like, texture, and I might run my teeth on it a little bit. Or maybe I'm going to, like, turn it a little bit like this, like I'm trying to get off a jar of mayonnaise or something. You know what I mean? And then, and then, and then like, if you don't courtesy tap me, I'm going to get mad at you. If you don't tap my head and let me know when you're going to come, I'm going to be like, it's salty. I don't like it. <laughs> oh, bleh. No, do you know what? I don't need a fucking courtesy tap, dude. You know why? Because I drink cheap wine. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> That's my time. I'm Christine Levine. Thank you so much. You're so the best. Christine Levine, this has been dead pat. You've been absolutely amazing. Bring it in. Bring it in. Oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> Hello. It's been a long three weeks, James. It's been a long fucking three weeks. Okay. All right. Okay. Let, 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 no, stop, no. let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Don't be weird.
uh, not understanding it or why about 200 persons around you are clapping, laughing and applauding. Maybe it is you that is in the wrong. It's just a suggestion. Such a shame. As I've always said, a good audience is like good cuisine. It takes just one dick in it to ruin it. 